Hi, I'm Dr. Stefan Strack, University of Iowa, Carver College of Medicine. Previously, our lab has used split firefly luciferase in complementation assays to study localization of proteins to the mitochondrial outer membrane. Why try nanobit? We've experience with split firefly luciferase assays, but are interested in nanobit because we would like better signal to background ratios. The brightness of the nanoloop signal offers much improved signal to background over the dimmer firefly signal, and therefore much greater sensitivity. I'm interested in the mechanism of mitochondrial fission, the process that divides one mitochondrion into two. Mitochondrial fission is required for faithful inheritance and proper intercellular distribution of the organelle. Dysfunction of mitochondrial dynamics contribute to several inherited and age-associated neurodegenerative diseases. Mitochondrial fission is catalyzed by dynamin-related protein 1, or DRP1, an enzyme that assembles into spirals around mitochondria. DRP1 uses GTP hydrolysis to power constriction of these spirals and ultimately severing of the two mitochondrial membranes. We are evaluating a nanobit luciferase complementation assay to study the interaction between DRP1 and its outer membrane receptor mitochondrial fission factor, MFF, in live cells. The N and C termini of DRP1 are thought to be on the outside surface of the contractile spiral and inaccessible to MFF. So we replaced an internal unstructured domain in DRP1 with either large bit or small bit. The C terminus of MFF resides in the intermembrane space, so we fuse small bit or large bit to the N terminus of MFF. The combination of DRP1 large bit and MFF small bit gave the best signal. An experiment was performed to confirm that both DRP1 large bit and MFF small bit fusion proteins still localized to the right position in the cell. Both go to the right fission sites and promote massive mitochondrial fragmentation when co-expressed in HeLa cells. Assaying luminescence in HeLa cells, DRP1 small bit co-transfected with DRP1 large bit resulted in the highest signal, as expected from a protein that forms homo oligomers. DRP1 large bit specifically interacted with small bit MFF, generating a luminescence signal. A point mutation in MFF known to interfere with DRP1 binding reduced luciferase activity by approximately 90%. We are currently using the nanobit assay to study the effect of phosphorylation and other post translational modifications on the interaction between DRP1 and MFF. We are also developing nanobit-based assays to screen for small molecule inhibitors of this interaction.